Now, in this video of Bootstrap, we are going to design the drop down. Basically, with the help of caret uh, helper class, which we have already covered, we can make a drop down list. Maybe if you take any button and you want to put some list out there, it will be like the drop down, and you can choose any out of that and can take appropriate action. So, let's see how we can start designing the drop down in this video now. All right, so as in the previous videos, we have already worked with the button with a caret. So here, while creating the drop down, I will continue with that particular example. And here, as you can see in the div, I started with the class drop down inside which I am putting a button. The reason why I am putting this button inside div because it will not only be the button, but after that, when you will click on the button you also get a list which will get which will show you some of the items of that drop down so basically here what i'm doing uh, here it's a class button along with that it is drop down toggle all right so this toggle will actually gives you the uh, feature of expanding and collapsing the list so the text on the button will be topics and right after that i put the caret symbol so, depending on the current version of Bootstrap, you can add a caret symbol on your button to give it a drop down look. Now, right after that, what I'm doing here is I'm creating the unordered list which will contain some of the menu items of that drop down. Since it's going to contain the items of drop down menu, I'm using a class drop down menu. All right, you can assign a role as well and then later it is labeled by drop down menu one all right just for the internal reference now after that each list item will be added so role is presentation uh, role menu item of that particular hyperlink why i'm adding high hyperlink because i want as soon as you will click on the item of that drop down you should go on a particular uh, location whatever you are giving in the href so basically here in this list item i'm giving three elements c programming c++ programming and c sharp programming with the particular urls and with the particular tab index which is minus one that's why that's because i don't want it to be selected by default all right so all are the menu items now if you want to give a separator you can do that as well so here you can see it's again a list item but the class which I'm using here is a different, all right? The class is divider. Divider will give you the horizontal line which will separate the items of different category in a list. Since I don't want a user to select the divider, so I will disable that using the disabled class. So right after that, again, there is one option called bootstrap, all right? So basically what I'm doing, I'm giving the programming languages first then I'm separating it with the formatting or the designing tool bootstrap all right so let's execute and see how this drop down is looking like for now all right so there's a button with the caret symbol topics is the text when I'm clicking over it you can see the different uh, options available all right I'm not able to click over this uh, separator because I disabled that so let's click over it and as soon as I'll do that, you can see I am here on that particular topic because I have given the href of that. If you want to show like some of the item is selected by default, you can do that as well. For that, you will have to come here in the list item and will say class is equal to active. As soon as you will do that, by default, it will be shown as selected. So here you can see the C sharp is like active all right with the blue background that will give you an idea like okay this is already being selected so I will use active class for that in case you want you can also give the headers in order to separate these list items as a different category for that I will add another list item here with the class drop down header all right so basically here i'm adding a header for all these elements all right and right after this after when i'm uh, dividing it i will add another drop down header with like designing all right 
So let's execute and see how these headers are looking like. Okay, so here you can see this is first programming with three options and then designing, bootstrap, maybe CSS, whatever you can add it later. Similarly, let's take an example like I am using this particular uh, drop down maybe somewhere in the bottom of my page. All right, so let me put some uh, line breaks here. All right, so now obviously it will not be in the topmost location but somewhere at the bottom. All right, so this is drop down. But if it is at extreme bottom and you want it to move on the reverse direction, then in that particular case, you can make it drop up. All right. So now when you will say drop up, it will not come down, but rather, as you can see the carrot symbol as well, it will go in the upward direction. All right. So, but it will work in the very same way as it was doing earlier. So these are all the things which you can use for designing the drop down I drop down menu in your web page. Along with that, you can also make it drop up as per the requirement.